I'm gonna do something really serious actually. Uh, since uh, anniversary ng event na to, and this this particular event that I'm going to talk about. And it's about two events actually. Something that happened last year and something that happened 100 years ago in Philippine history. So this poem is called, As the Murder Descends to the Killing Fields. Here's how it goes. Somewhere distant, dark as our eyes, what we thought was the sky stares down at the face of the world. They are slowly descending, soaring over quiet farms in sleeping villages they seek to feast after hearing songs sung in battlefields and churchyards where the soul screams its body as an offering. The murder, the crows. Calling for carry, they flock desolate fields, hovering around carcasses long enough to be trapped in folklores and traditions as omens. See how they perch on branches, observing the ground, watching men fall down before their feast. In December 2, 1899, Peter March and Gregorio del Pilar had sung the song for the murder's feast with a cacophony of guns played by an orchestra of 300 American men and 60 Filipino soldiers staged with barricades and trenches that would be known as the Battle of Pires Pass. The murder perched patiently. American war correspondent Richard Henry Little wrote, a crow sat on the dead man's feet as the boy general lay bare in all his glory. A crow examined the flesh. The film song stirred up within the crow and the blood touched the beat in the soil and heard it. January 25, 2015. 44 men of the Special Action Forces traversed the forest of Amasapa no Mindanao. The operation prevent further global damages of a wanted terrorist and proclaim victory over evil without the country ever knowing the danger. But the sound of the murder haunts this soil. They call with a message of violence. The faint song still stirs for more than 100 years as the murder descends. Their eyes reflect the 60 Filipino riots of 1899. 300 American men sift through trails of flood, flanking the rear defense, exchanging shots. To the devour, the 60 Filipino soldiers with gunfire, then Pilar plunges into the pits of his glorious dream in Aguinaldo's future. 2015. 44 men hold their guns close. 44 men raise their guns and blaze through a host of human voices, but muffled in the roar of conflict as a child of five years old. A husband just wanting to charge his phone, a farmer not having any hope to escape his tied hands. Everyone was pulling the rope of this tug of war to peace. But again, we are left with another testimony of mud and blood, and so the crows descend. It was believed that crows possessed knowledge of the future, believed from realms unseen, feared as messengers of death. We want our cries to be heard, but our voices cannot descend. These songs of war, they are always drowned in anthems of anger and spite. So keep your heads towards the skies and witness this descending night enveloping the sun. But let your voice raise up new songs and sweet verses of brotherhood. And let your arms bear the burden of composing new music for our sons and daughters to sing. Because if our blood trips with these songs of war flowing within us, somewhere distant, dark as our eyes. Well, we will think we'll be the sky. We'll stare down at the face of the world. The murder. The crows. And the murder will hear us. Because the murder will know. And the murder will descend to the next piece. Thank you so much, Arma.